Don't you wish Create React App built your application faster? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a faster way. Just look at the times here. 3 minutes and 52 seconds for Create React App and 55 seconds for White. That's how quicker it was for me. So it can be for you too. Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a faster way to uh, start a React App projects. Usually when I'm starting a new project, I uh, usually go to NP uh, I used to run npx create react app and that will build my starter files. Now, uh, the thing is it, it usually takes about uh, three to four minutes uh, on average uh, to install uh, a react app. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you a quicker way uh, to uh, start a, a react project and that is using a, a tool called Vite. Now, Vite is a build tool. Uh, it's like Webpack, and what it does is it, it will set up all the uh, files and uh, tools that you need to develop a React app, uh, you know, like the local server and things like that. Okay, so Vite is, uh, I think it was initially designed for Vue, but it also supports uh, uh, the other frameworks as well, uh, like, uh, you know, Vue, uh, React, uh, Preact. Uh, Swelt. So you can use it for the ones listed here. So I'm on the white uh, document site here. Okay, so the only requirements that you need is that uh, you're running uh, Node.js version 12 or above. So you need to make sure that uh, you've got a higher, higher, higher version of uh, Node.js, higher than 12. So if I go into the command prompt and I can just check if I type in uh, node space hyphen hyphen and it's uh, version and it will tell me that I'm using version 14.17 uh, so I'm okay uh, so you need to make sure before you run this uh, you need to make sure that you know you're running that version uh, or any, any anything higher than 12 will do okay so what I'm going to do is, I'm, in this video, I'm going to be testing both of them and uh, just uh, highlighting how fast Vite is. So first, I'm going to create a React app uh, using Create React App. And um, and as you can see on the React documentation, you know I, you need Node 10.16 or above and NPM 5.6 and above. <coughs> So I can, I can just test uh, what version of npm I've got as well. npm uh, dash dash version. Okay, so I'm using six six point fourteen. So uh, that's that's okay. So first of all, I'm going to run npx uh, create React app. Okay, so I'm going to just copy that and go to the command prompt. I've created a folder here already, React Test, so I'm going to just type it in there. So I just delete that and call it uh, my CRA app, which is uh, Create React App. Okay, so I'm just uh, press Enter on that, and I shall time it. So that took uh, around about three minutes. So now I'm going to do, in, uh, I'm going to cd into my CRA app, and I'm going to do npm start. Okay, so this is going to open up a. Uh, it's going to run it in a lo local uh, server. So. And there you go, it's installed. So that took another sort of a, uh, around about 30 to 40 seconds as well. It took me about four minutes to sort of uh, uh, go from running NPX uh, to open it up in the browser. Uh, now I'm going to uh, use a Vite uh, to install a uh, React app. So, so I'm back, back at the documentation for Vite. And as you can see here, there's three different ways of, uh, well, they give you three different uh, 
uh, commands to install a, a, a byte. Okay, uh, so the first two are NPN and the other one is for yarn. So we're going to be concentrating on NPN. So the NPN, uh, you know, uh, if you got NPM version 6, then you use this one. Uh, if you got NPM version 7 plus, then you use this. So if I go back to the command prompt and I just type in npm version, oops, npm dash dash version, okay, so it will tell me the version, so I've got 6, so I'm going to be using this one. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that and paste that into, back in the uh, React test directory in the root, okay, just uh, install that, but I'm going to now, um, the, this particular, if I go back, okay, so the, the instruction contains, um, you know, the, uh, two parts here. It's, it's got the white, uh, at white test in it. So you got the uh, um, in it white at latest. So that's basically telling it to install the latest white. And this is the application directory. And this will be the template that we're using. So we're going to be uh, using React. So we're going to be changing that part. And we're also going to change that um, uh, directory name uh, to what, or whatever we want. Okay. So, so I'll go back. All right. So I'm going to change that view to React. And then I'm just going to say my right. right. Just And then just press enter there. And then I'm going to time this. Okay, that took about uh, 3.8 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to cd into my byte app. And I'm going to npm install. Okay, and see how long this takes. So there, there you go. That's uh, that's taken about twelve seconds. So now if I do, uh, um, if I go back, uh, yep, it's npm run dev, and this will run the local development server. So I have to. All right, if I copy that address into the browser, copy. And so there you go, uh, a React app installed with Byte. That took 55 seconds. Hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channels to see more videos like this. Thank you.